Some things you never forget, like the first YouTube video you uploaded. Danabelt must be somewhere inside. How about it, Law? Any idea which way it is? This is a Renin castle. You think they were in the habit of letting a Danon like me inside? Point taken. The astral energy's off the scale. Almost like it's pressing down on me. You can feel it? The whole castle must be brimming with it. My hunch is it'll get stronger the deeper we go. It must be the spirit vessel. You can bet anything it's pulsing with stored astral energy. We can't let Ganabelt use it against us. And we can assume that's his plan A. <laughs> let him try. I'll destroy anything he throws at us. Reveal prison tower? Revile prison tower? I don't know how to pronounce that. Seems those are private because the first ones are portal one. Did I even delete those videos at some point? I very rarely, if ever, like private or delete videos on my channel. Maybe there might have been a time like way back when I have deleted some videos from my channel before when they were, uh, well, I'm not going to get into why, but there have been some video. Hello. Looks like this elevator won't budge. But yeah, I uh, very rarely do I delete or private videos on the channel. So I don't know. Portal one was also, I remember doing portal one also incredibly early in my YouTube career. That would have been one of the first things I did. So that, that does sound right that my original Portal 1 playthrough was probably at the very start of the channel. I'm going to go ahead and give everyone some peace of mind. Don't go look back at the stuff in my channel from like, I don't know, 2017 prior, 2016 prior, somewhere around there. I did the first Tales of Zillia in 2016. Don't watch anything on my channel from before Tales of Zillia, the first playthrough. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was not that good at, at YouTube back in the day. I'm a lot better now, or at least I like to think so. Looks like this elevator won't budge. Man, isn't there some way we can go up? Calm down, Law. We should thoroughly search this floor to see if there are any leads. She's right. For all we know, we might find a way to turn the elevator back on. Dude, I'm really liking Law now that he's like a party member and we're seeing a lot more of him. I Law is the kind of character that I can be a big fan of. Someone in chat said, uh, yeah, Flame Angel said, I swear Caspar and Law are the same person. I really like Caspar from Three Houses as well, so... I, uh, I am a fan of this style of character. Hi, door. It's locked. Dang it. Not going that way. Let's try this door. Uh, hi. This is... Definitely don't go and watch the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 playthrough. No. Don't watch that one. That game sucks. Watch my Xenoblade Chronicles X playthrough. That was a good game. I need to redux that at some point, too. This looks like some kind of wall. No getting past here, it seems. Probably meant to keep intruders like us out. Yanabel definitely ain't making this easy. Guess we'll have to find another way around. Got it. Move out of the way. I can just... I can bust open a wall like this. No problem. Just watch. Oh, is this going to cost CP for you to bust this bad boy open? Law's fist can break down walls that block your path. It'll yeah. I love the way the CP overworld stuff works in this game. I think YouTube just ate some of your oldest vids. I know I saw all those Minecraft ones you mentioned being at the start before, but now it's just Portal. That's very strange. I might have I might have just deleted them at some point, but don't remember for some reason. I don't know why I would have. I mean, they're a little embarrassing because. I wasn't that good at commentary and whatnot back then, but I don't really mind having something like that up on the channel. You look exhausted, Law. You feeling okay? Yeah, nothing I can't handle. Let's keep moving. By the way, I also really love Law's design. I love the purple hair with the little, uh, I don't know what that, uh, hi guys. I don't know what that, uh, piece of hair hanging on the side, you would, what you would call that. But uh, I do like his uh, his character design a lot. It reminds me a little bit of Sinbad from Magi, and Sinbad is one of my favorite characters in anime. Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! I love Tiger Blade because one of my favorite Mystic Arts in in the franchise is uh, 
Jude and Mila doing Tiger Blade Sigma. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. I'm here to tell the game that there this is a very is completely different from Balsaf's castle. Every lord has their taste. What? They can they're the flash, they're vibrating their molecules. Abilities is another matter altogether. It's us Danans who built the structure, you know. How would we know what Renan's like? Please finish the dialogue. Let's hurry up and get to the top floor. No, the dialogue! I went for so long. Yeah, get him, get him, Law. Let's get him. Tag team, tag team, tag team. Die. Excuse me, sir. I need you to be dead. I said, I need you to be dead. Get him, Law. Dude, the finishers in this, I hope that every Tales of game for the history of time from now on has this finisher system. It is so much fun and it is so awesome seeing the different party members do combo moves together like that. I remember in Berseria, one of the coolest things in Berseria, and you couldn't even get it until like the very end game or post game, was when you could get the, the combo mystic arts where like uh, Velvet and Lafayette had a combo mystic art and then uh, Aizen and Rokuro had a combo one, and I loved Aizen and Rokuro's combo Mystic Art. And then I think Eleanor and Mogilu had one, and then of course uh, Jude and Mila have Tiger Blade Sigma in Zillia, and then Luger got a bunch of combo Mystic Arts with like every main character in Zillia too. I love that kind of stuff. It is so good. I was hoping the rest of the game would be the guards chasing you around the couch. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know. Makes it easier to trigger Overlimit while awakened. Ooh. This is law. Prince of Iron Fists. Every defense out there, even the thickest shells and the biggest, toughest shields, fall when faced with the might of law and his Iron Fists. Dragon Shot sounds awesome. 10 hit boost gauge increase. Raises the boost gauge every 10 hits during a combo. Seems pretty good. Because he's all about comboing. Increased boost gauze at the start is very good. Restores AG upon defeating an enemy is also nice. I do want this penetration 10 though. And like, this is a little expensive, 560, but 280 is pretty cheap. I think I want to get this penetration plus. What does this give? Attack plus 20 is amazing. I think we want to get this penetration plus, and then we want to start hitting up all of these abilities, probably, I think. Seems right. about right to me. Give me this. Alexandrite, thank you. That equipment should come in handy. All right, all right. Let's just poke around a little bit here. There was something else I was going to talk about, but I've forgotten now. What was I about to say? Mine, 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 mine. Milk! Milk! Milk? That milk has got to be bad. It's been sitting out so long. Anyways, yeah, the combo moves in this game are fantastic. Uh, hi? Hey! Wait, I'm not your enemy. I'm with the silver swords. I take it you're on our side too, yeah? I infiltrated the snake eyes to leak information to them. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. You're looking for a way to activate the elevator? Sorry, can't say I've heard anything about that. I don't know if it'll help, but let me tell you about the office you'll find directly across from the entrance. From what I know, there's supposed to be a device attached to a desk that'll open up a door to the block on the other end of the combat. Yes. The collection room here is probably locked, unfortunately, but there should still be a spare key you can use somewhere in this block. Hopefully it'll help you get that elevator online again somehow. Thanks, dude. Very nice, very nice. Fine. Apple gel. I'm very glad that the game is giving us a lot of, uh like gels and stuff right now. Very helpful. Hello. Hi, Hoodle. I remember what I was going to do. I was about to look up, like, I don't understand how do I enter, uh, how do I enter over limit? There's probably a tutorial that I can read. Oh, stupid fire. I didn't think that would hit me out of my attack. Going nowhere, loser. Look sharp. Dude, that is so good. I will never get tired at looking at, at, looking at all of these combos. They are so good. All right, hold up. I want to see, like, uh, what would that be in? Help? Battle. 
How do I, how do I overlimit? Here we go. As you take damage and execute perfect evasions, you'll enter overlimit status for a set period. I wonder if taking damage counts when I use fire arts and hurt myself. During it, arts cost no AG, yada yada. Enemies can also enter overlimit, yada yada. While in overlimit, after landing an art, press and hold two of the following buttons to activate your character's powerful mystic art. Alright, so I did this by accident earlier, but I think it is what I think. I like... So I'll probably end up most of the time press X to use my uh, alpha stab attack and then hold triangle and square to do the alt, to do the mystic art. Okay. Is there a visible bar in combat that shows me the overlimit building or is it, it just like happens? Hi, Hi, attack me so I can perfect dodge you, please. That was really, I did not expect that explosion. Attack me. Sir? 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 Sir, you suck at your job, sir? Oh, that was fast. Oh, wow, that was sudden. Oh, I entered overlimit, like I did it, somehow. Is it Scarlet Inferno or Scarlet Outburst? Make up your mind. Knowing when we're in too deep is necessary to survive. We may tend to push ourselves a little too hard. Bum, bum, bum. I will say, minor complaint, and I'm willing to give them some slack on it because this is, I think this is the first time a Tales of game, hey, thank you. This is the first time a Tales of game has ever had a worldwide release instead of releasing in Japan and then releasing in the West like five, six months after. They do have a lot of like, not a lot, but an, enough typos and like mis, misspellings and stuff in the subtitles to be noticeable. Hopefully they fix that with a couple of early game updates. Uh, hi there. How's it going? No, no, goodbye. Oh, it's locked. Well, you know what? Here we go. Yeah, punch him. Oh, I, dang it! I was trying to get his. I should have used my my thing right there, but I didn't. So wait a minute. Is there like a visible bar that shows how close I'm getting to overlimit? I cannot. I cannot tell. I don't see one anywhere. But I might just not see it. No, 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 you stupid flamethrower piece of trash. Get out of here. How freaking dare you? Go away. <sighs> Looks like we won. Bronze dog tag, nice. There is not a visible bar for overlimit, but your character will start to get blue particle effects when you're getting closer to overlimit. Mm, okay, okay. I see, I see. I'm a little worried that that's gonna make it hard to realize, like, not not actually being in control necessarily of when you're in over limit, because it just like happens based on dodging and taking damage. Could be a little annoying, but it also might not be a problem at all. We'll see. Collection room key. Hi guys, how's it going? Fancy seeing you all here. There are so many materials in this in this dungeon. I am a big fan. I appreciate it. We've gotten a lot of apple gel and uh, oh no, law. Never mind. They must have healed law during that last fight. I was about to say it wasn't law low on health recently. A single apple. Hi guys. Let's dispose of the trash. Dude, he just stabbed right through. Uh, through her move. No, 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 no! Yes! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! Dude, it is always Lightning Tiger Blade. Dibs! Fine. Look sharp! It's always Lightning Tiger Blade. I choose Law for the thing every time. I love Lightning Tiger Blade, it's great, but come on, give me some variety. Do some Shion and, uh, Rinwell combos. What is, what is this, the room of Kraven the Hunter from Spider-Man 2, whenever that comes out in 2023? What am I looking at? What is this place? Some kind of armory? Looks like they're more for decorative purposes than actual combat. Does it matter? We've got a job to do. Wait, this isn't Renan, it's Danon. Really? 
And not just this one either. All of these. It's all Dan and gear. What's Dan and equipment doing on display inside a Renan castle? Ask around later if you're so interested. But for now, we've got more pressing matters to attend to. Remember? Very intriguing. Very intriguing indeed. This isn't the sword that that one guy in the cloak was wielding last stream, was it? I don't think it was. I, I don't remember exactly what his sword looked like. I just remembered it was like a Sephiroth Gaius style sword. Kes, were you fine with Jao's death in Tales of Zillia? Yeah. Yeah. Jao had, uh, I mean, that was like the halfway point in the game, and we had known Jao since the start of the game, and Jao wasn't, like, he wasn't an ally, he was more of an antagonist, so, you know, it's more expected that he dies in general, and I think that him dying to, like, take down, like, that giant swath of enemies to let Gaius and them all retreat did really well to show towards just how loyal Gaius's subjects, specifically the Chimeriad, are to Gaius. I think Jao's death was pretty good. I'll tell you this, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm perfectly fine with Jao dying in Zillia, as opposed to Zephyr dying in this game, as of right now. Hi there. Sure enough, you found a button under the desk. <laughs> Dude, I love that pop-up, that's so funny. Press the button. The doorway north of the entrance plaza seems to have unlocked. How can I tell that from this here? open the door? We still don't know how to activate the elevator. We'll just have to s see what we can figure out. That bastard giving us the run round. Kiss, what was the worst Tales of game for you? Uh, it's definitely either, and I'm, I know I'm gonna make some enemies when I say this, <laughs> but uh, I do not like Tales of Vesperia. I know that it's a huge like cult favorite in the in the uh, the community, but I I am not a fan of Tales of Vesperia. It's definitely either that or Tales of Zestaria. On one hand. I think Zestaria definitely does have the worst story and characters compared to Vesperia. However, I don't really like Vesperia's story, like, at all. And I only really like, like, half of the cast in Vesperia. But where it becomes difficult for me to pick is, uh... Oh, there we go. Super Flashing Fang. Let's get it. Where it becomes difficult to pick between the two is that, uh, Tales of Zestaria's combat is way more fun. Like, one of the worst things about Vesperia for me was I hated the combat. It was- it was very bad, and it made the rest of the game a super slog to get through, in my experience, because I didn't like the story in Vesperia. I thought the story was lame. And then, like, I liked- I liked Yuri. I- I remember liking Flynn. Repeat is, like, a dog. He's cool. I didn't- I didn't like Carol. I didn't really like Estelle that much. I didn't really like Rita that much. Rita was, like, fine. Uh... What, what was the girl's name? I can't remember the girl's name. The one with the dragon. But she was cool. I hated Patty. Patty sucked. And, like, totally spat on, uh... Totally spat on, like, the whole lore of Ifreed, which I despised. Judith! That was her name. I liked Judith. Judith and Yuri were really cool. Flynn was pretty cool. But the other characters in Vesperia I didn't really like. I hated the villains in Vesperia. I didn't like the story in Vesperia. Uh, and the gameplay in Vesperia was, like, really not good. <laughs> I did not like the gameplay in Vesperia at all. So, honestly, the story and the characters in Zestaria are worse than Vesperia, I think. But not by much. They're both really bad, in my opinion. But the gameplay in Zestaria was super fun. I loved armatization and the way fighting worked in Zestaria, and that was like its saving grace. Vesperia didn't really have a saving grace for me. There was nothing that really made Vesperia, like, worthwhile to me. Like, I would never play Vesperia again. If, if you told me right now you either have to play Vesperia or you have to play Zestaria again, I would play Zestaria again because the gameplay is more fun. So, I, I think, honestly, as much as it might make some enemies, and if, if you're watching this and you liked Vesperia, I'm glad you enjoyed it. More power to you, you know? Uh, I'm, I'm not trying to, like, hate on you or anything. Like the game you like. But I, I probably Vesperia is, like, my uh, least favorite.
it's Zestaria's flaw in combat. The battle maps causing enemies to get stuck between walls. It's been a long... I only played Zestaria the once, much like Grace's. Uh, it's been a long time since I played, so I don't remember any specific instances of that. I only remember, in general, having fun with armatization and the way the combos worked. But, uh, so I'll just have to take your word on that. I don't remember that exactly. But I played Vesperia recently, and I remember really, really getting bored Did and annoyed when playing Vesperia. Why? I've heard rumors that they feed prisoners to one instead of executing them. Do you think... Stop it! Yo! Yo! The Zoogle designs in this game are so good, dude! They are so good! I love the look of Zoogles in this game. Amazing! Hi! It's locked! I wanna fight it! I wanna fight the kitty! We are very low on CP already. Oh, it's these gargoyles again! Oh, you're not enemies? Oh, there's someone dead here? Hi! Are these gonna come to life when I open this? Uh, yeah, I played video games before. I played video games before. What, you think I'm not a gamer? Tales of Arise? You dare, you dare insult me in such a manner? I'm a gamer, I'll have you know. I know what's up. You guys remember when that guy was there? Me. Don't get hit by that laser. Yo, knock him out of the air. Look sharp. Lightning Tiger Blade. Dude, that is so clean. This game is so pretty. Nicely done. Oh, it's so good. I love it. Ooh, hello. Should this really be here? Got some sage. 